guys, it's Anne. Welcome to my home worm farming channel. If you're looking for a help, helpful, friendly vermiculture community, you are in the right place. We're going to look in on the African night crawlers and the vermi bag little mammoth. And as you can tell, after the harvest last time, it, well, I also came in and put some uh, expired cocoa wheats in here, but you can tell that it is pretty, pretty far down. But the moisture underneath that top bedding is looking really good. So that's been taken care of. This top bedding is going to get wet today when I do my feeding. So just looking at this right now, everything's settled down after the feeding, so it's really low, which means I need to build this back up. So one of the things that I wanted to talk about today is we already know that we can use, you know, shredded cardboard boxes to feed our worms. But what else, you know, can we feed them? What other kind of packing stuff can we feed them that we get nowadays? So I was going to, I'm going to show a picture of what it looked like before on the screen. Uh, I'm going to tell you that I did soak it in water for about 15 minutes before I fed them. And this is what it looks like now. So it's... I don't know, it's Green Rabbit Fresh Stuff Fast. I'm not sure if that's the brand or what. But then it's also got this uh, cold shipment, how to recycle.info blanket. So this is what some of my uh, granola bars came in. Whoops. So I'm gonna use that as my base right now for my feeding today. And even though they got that in between feeding of the cocoa weeds, I'm gonna give them a lot of vegetables today. So tis the season for canning. Got a lot of different kinds of tomatoes this year. This one was called Marsha's Starfighter Heart. Really prolific tomato. Just tastes like a normal tomato, but um, it's got very pretty colors. And then, you know, just the normal Amish paste. A couple of dwarf ones. And one of the problems with some of the heirloom varieties is that, quite honestly, they um, they don't keep for very long, which is why I have some that didn't make it. So we can't really see very much of the worms today. Sorry, no worm ball for the worm video. But what we are learning is, can we use this? According to the package and the website, it's supposed to be fully compostable. So let's see what the African night crawlers who are... As far as my worms go, they are the best ones to eat carbon sources, whether it be leaves or newspaper or cardboard or even uh, egg boxes. They go through it at an amazing speed. So if anybody's up for the job, it's definitely the African night crawlers. Now let's get them some top bedding here to help out. And uh, here's one of my favorite bin buddies. We've got the isopod. They call them pill bugs or wood lice or whatever. But these guys are great for shredding up things so that the worms can get to it faster. This is about four gallons of my prepared bedding that's been sitting in some water soaked with kelp meal. And that should keep the flies and whatnot away from smelling that food down there. Plus, not to mention this system does get zipped. So I'm gonna put my cover here. This helps retain some of the moisture for the bin. This bin is made out of fabric, so it does tend to lose moisture very quickly. And then I'm gonna zip it up. And if you like this video, there is an entire playlist for this kind of a bag with the zipper, which is the only way I can keep the African night crawlers from escaping my system. And that playlist is right over there. And if you've already seen that, YouTube thinks you're going to like this video right over here. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day. And there's Shadow in dog jail. Unfortunately, he enjoys getting into the worm food just as much as the worms do, so he has to stay in here. Although, if you do look over here, I did give him a peanut butter tower to lick on while he's being in dog jail. 